Hi everybody, Damien here from Trade the Fifth. Hope you're all well. I uh, just want to give you guys a, a quick introduction and an install guide to our new BITS platform for TradeStation 10. Um, BITS stands for Breakout Intelligent Trading Signals. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously you'll get an email from us with a download link for the, the, the file. Download the file, don't open it, just make sure you take a note of exactly where you save it. Uh, then you need to email us your customer number. That's so we can then send you uh, a, a new license key. Okay, so you're going to come up to the help, you go down to about trade station, and here you can see your customer number. So copy that, email that to info at tradethefifth.com, and we'll respond back with your license key. So first thing you're going to need to do is you need to import the, the file. So to do that, we're going to come up to here to file, we're going to come down to import, export, easy language. We're going to import easy language file ELD, ELS, or ELA, click next. And this is why I say make sure you know where you've saved your file. So click browse and there you go. I've got my bits and bytes indicator here. I'm going to click open and then next. Make sure all the study types are checked. And again, same hit this one. Click finish and then you're going to get a number of pop up messages. Just click OK on them. I'm just going to click yes to all. Yes. And then you're going to get this page come up. And now you've got to successfully imported your studies into the into TradeStation. Okay, that's that done. So in order to do the next stage, what we'll need to do then is, if you haven't already selected your chart, go to Chart Analysis, um, which will be here. So I'm just going to close this. Go to Chart Analysis. Select the chart that you're using, uh, and then we're going to go into Studies. Okay, so I'm just going to increase the size of this one. Uh, so you right-click on the chart. Go to studies and you're going to go to add study. And then you're going to get a pop up message, something like this come up. So here you have, you've got the W5T bias and W5T bits. You want both of those added in. So if you just click and then hold control if you're using a PC, command if you're using a Mac, and you're literally just going to click OK. So those files are now imported, but you will get a message like this saying that there was an error that's fine that's just because you need to add in your license key we're going to do that in the next stage okay so all we want to do is just literally close that down okay so now we need to just edit the studies and add your license key so now that we've closed that pop-up box down we're just going to right click on the chart come down to studies again here but now we're going to come down here to edit studies and you can see here now you've got the bits and the bias indicators straight up here but they're both clicked as off so we'll need to turn them on and then customize them. So we'll just left click on the bias, click status, that turns it on, on the W5T bits. Again, click status, that turns it on. So we then go to customize, and down here for license key, you're just gonna paste in the license key that I've emailed to you. Make sure you include the, uh, the speech marks as well. Click default, click yes, obviously, because you want that to, to stay that way. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll have to input the license key every single time. This is just ensuring that every time you open up, the license key is already in there. So click OK. And then we're going to do the same with bias. Customize, license key, paste it, default, yes, and OK. And then you just literally go close. And there you have it. So now you can see that the, uh, the indicator is, is in. You can see that it's got the uh, points of control in there as well. Um, and you can also see that it's got the, the bias indicator there as well. Now, Paul will go into a lot more detail with this. Um, we'll discuss the, the bias indicator as well and what you can expect. But if you have any problems with this installation or you have any other questions, please feel free to email me. You can contact me at info at tradethefifth.com.